Welcome back, friends. In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to resize an image to make it fit nice and cozy inside a frame so that none of the pieces of your image are cut off. We'll also go through how to rotate images in frames so that they're in a position that you prefer. I only have one favor to ask that if you learn anything in this tutorial, please do press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. And if you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. All right, let's get to the meats and potatoes of the video. All right, so I have a YouTube thumbnail on my workspace. I'm going to place a couple of frames on my workspace. So I'll place this frame on my workspace. I'll also place this frame. And let's go to elements. I'm going to place a photo on my workspace. I'm going to place this photo on my workspace and I'm going to click it and drag it right inside of that frame. So here is the Polaroid with that image inside. Now we can tell that the image of the child is cut off. So how do we fix that, right? Because if we double click on the image, we can move it up and down. But then what happens is that the uh, mother and the father are cut off at the shoulder. So it doesn't really uh, allow for a very good picture. How do we solve this? Well, why don't we detach this image from the Polaroid and let's go to edit. Now in edit, we have magic studio and one of the options in magic studio is magic expand. I'm going to click on magic expand. Now the object of using magic expand is to make this photo the width of the frame. That way we can get everything in that photo inside of our frame. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use freeform and we're going to stretch this photo on the right and on the left. Like this. And once we're done, we're just going to say expand and it will add or extend the image on the left side and on the right side. It'll come up with four different options of that expanded image for you to choose from. So here we have the different options for you to choose. And it's still trying to uh, calculate the fourth option but I'm going to actually choose this option right here, which is the third one. And I'll, I'll say done. All right, so now we can grab this image and we can just place it right inside. And you can see that now we can see the entire image. And none of that image is cut off. All right, let's go to our second Polaroid, which is um, this and let's place this image on our on our workspace. I'm going to click it and drag it and place it right inside. And what we can see is that part of the image is cut off. This woman's hair is cut off and as well this lady uh, on the right side, part of her body is cut off as well. So if we double click this image, we have the option to slide it back and forth. But like the other image, we really don't have the option to make it taller. Now we notice that we do have the option to expand here in the left panel. But unfortunately, when images are inside of frames, we don't have the option to actually use expand. We're just going to get an error message saying that because the image is inside the frame, uh, we really can't uh, expand it for you. So we need to close that and detach it from the frame and then we can go into edit and we can select magic expand. Now remember our 
image needs to be taller, not wider this time. So using freeform, I'm going to take this image and make it taller from the top and taller from the bottom. And I'll just say expand. And again, it's going to come up with four different options for us to choose from. Sometimes it's not perfect. It does try to expand the image and carry through legs, arms, um, body parts, but it's not perfect. All right, so here is what it's come up with. And again, there are going to be four different options. Now we can go through and select each one and see which one is the best option. I seem to like this one the best, so I'm going to stick with this one and I'll say done. Okay, so now let's take the image and let's put it back into the frame. So here it is right here. I'm going to double click. And I'm going to just make it a little bit larger. Like that. And we can see now that that image fits a lot. Let's go on to our third page. So on this page, we have a frame that's on a uh, camera uh, film. So I'm going to go into elements. And again, I'm going to place a photo on my workspace. So again, I'm just going to search for um, a photo of family. So I'll place this photo in there. I'll just grab it and slide it right inside. Now, what if I was to rotate this because I wanted it to appear um, horizontally instead of vertically, but the picture didn't rotate. So how do we rotate the image? Well, that's really, really simple. All we need to do is double click and rotate the image and then position it to where we want. And that is pretty much it on how to resize images inside of frames and how to rotate images inside of frames. Now, if you learned anything whatsoever in this tutorial, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe and turn that notification bell on if there's anything that you want to learn. Place it in the comments down below. And if you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership where I go live every single week to teach my adult learners what they want to know. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye bye until next time.